Hi there, my name is Ailish and I work here at Science World and today I'm going to be talking all about blood. So blood is a very important material in our body. Lots of people find it kind of gross, but it's actually something that we need to survive and it has a lot of important jobs that it performs in our body. Without blood, we couldn't survive. Blood does lots of important things. For example, it transports nutrients around our body. It transports oxygen around our body. It helps us fight disease and heal when we get cut. And it even has a role in thermoregulation or regulating a constant temperature in our body. But how much blood do we actually have in our body? Well, I'm gonna help you visualize this using some props I have right here. So what I've got here is a plastic bottle that just contains water and food coloring. Don't worry, it's not real blood. And I'm gonna pop one of these down here. So this is about half a liter's worth. But we have a lot more blood than this in our body. So I'm gonna pop down a few more of these bottles. We've got three so far, so we're at about a liter and a half. I'm gonna put a fourth one down and even a fifth one. Now the amount of blood I'm showing you here is for a person who weighs about 50 kilos or about 110 pounds. We've just got a couple more to go here. We can see we're building up quite a lot of blood. So there you have it. We have about four liters of blood here. Four liters of blood is about how much that 50 kilo person has in their body. So I weigh a bit more than 50 kilos. I would have even more blood than this and you might have a little less. So now that we've looked at how much blood we have in our body, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make your very own fake blood at home. Now this is something you guys can try yourselves. We just recommend that you ask for an adult's permission first. And if you do have any food allergies, just make sure that you are not allergic to any of the ingredients we're gonna be using in this demo. All right, so my first ingredient here is just simple tap water. We've also got some corn syrup here. We also have some red food dye. And on my left hand side here, we have some corn starch and some cocoa powder as well. All right, so each of these ingredients is going to represent a part of our blood. So to start off with, we're going to use some water, which I'm gonna pour right into my cup here. Just a little bit of water down the bottom. And we're also going to add some corn syrup. So this is gonna make our blood nice and thick because our blood is not runny really like water. It's actually a little bit thicker than that. So I'm going to mix around our corn syrup and our water here. And this represents plasma. So plasma is the body of our blood. It's what gives our blood liquid form. And plasma also has a very important job, which is that it carries glucose around our body. Glucose is a very important nutrient that we need to give us energy. So that's plasma, that's our first ingredient. Next up, we're gonna add in a few drops of this red food coloring. So red food coloring will not only make our fake blood look nice and real, but it will also represent something called red blood cells. Now red blood cells are very, very important. Just like our plasma, they will help with carrying nutrients around our body. And it's the red blood cells that are actually carrying the oxygen around our body that we need to survive. So red blood cells are very important. We have another type of blood cell in our body, which are our white blood cells. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cornstarch into the cup to represent our white blood cells. I'm gonna whisk that around. So white blood cells have a different function to red blood cells. White blood cells are actually involved with trying to keep our bodies healthy. So when pathogens or germs come into our body, the white blood cells are actually able to recognize these and they are able to kill them, which helps us to stay healthy. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of cocoa powder. So the cocoa powder here is going to represent something called platelets. So platelets, if you've ever had a cut on yourself, Platelets are actually the part of our blood that help us form a scab to stop the blood from leaving our body. So our body is actually made up of about 8% blood and we wanna keep it that way. So we don't want to just let all of the blood leave our body when we have a cut. So the platelets actually help form a scab and will actually help us to stop bleeding when we have a wound. So you just need to mix all your ingredients in and just make sure you get the amounts right. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to help my cocoa powder dissolve there. 
and by the end of this whisking process, you should have a nice gross material that represents blood, both in terms of how it looks and what it's made up of. So there's our fake blood there. I'm gonna put my whisk down, and the cool thing about this fake blood is you can use it to make fake wounds on yourself. Ugh, pretty gross. The cool part is it doesn't taste bad either. Mmm. So there you have it. That is how you make your very own fake blood at home. For more information on how to do this and other activities, visit our Science World Resources website.